hi guys you're welcome back to my channel it's Eki. if it's the first time here you're welcome if you are a subscriber thank you so much for having me back all right today's video is foundation match before i forget today is day four for our beginners makeup tutorial series if you've not seen our previous videos i'll be leaving that down in my description box okay so today we'll be talking about undertones we'll be talking about types of undertones how to identify your undertones and also how to customize foundation if need be so if you are interested in that then keep on watching while we get right into this video so first what is undertone a lot of you knows what undertone means and then you're like mm, yeah we know and then some people must have heard but they really do not understand what it really means then there are some like the beginner beginners have never heard the word undertones and they're like what what are you even saying okay so that's why i want to break it down in this video to let you know what undertone means okay undertone is the hue that comes through the skin from beneath the surface okay what is the difference between undertones and skin tone undertone is that color that is beneath your skin while your skin tone it's this color that you're seeing right here at the surface of your okay, skin so when choosing your foundation there are three types of undertones that you should bear in mind because you will be definitely falling under one of the undertones we have the cool undertones, the warm and the neutral undertone the cool tone consists of the red, the pink and the blue in their complexion while the warm consists of the orange the yellow the golden the olive in their uh, complexion while the neutral consists of the white and the gray in their complexion we are able to identify the undertones so what are the methods that you can use to know which undertones that you fall into i have four methods at which i use in checking number one at the risk here or on your risk you can check here you see a vein around this area here and you check the vein to see what color if it appear to be greenish you know that you fall under the warm tone family but if you check and you notice that is a purple or blue vein that is showing right here on your wrist you know that your uh your undertone is a cool tone then if you are finding it difficult to detect the color on your veins is neither green blue or greenish then you probably be on the neutral side number two ways how you can detect if you are warm tone warm undertones cool or neutral is by your jewelry so which of the jewelry flatters your skin the most so if you put on gold jewelry and it flatter your skin the most you know that you are on the warm undertones but if silver a uh, jewelry flatter your skin the most it therefore means you are on the cool undertones but if both works for you perfectly it means you are neutral well, number three test is sun test so the way your skin reacts to sun can definitely tells you what undertones you belong to so if your skin burns whenever you are under the sun you know that you are on the cool tone the cool undertones but if you tend to tan easily you are on the warm undertones number four is color test pick a mirror stand in front of your mirror um preferably under daylight and then you know bring some dresses put them closer to your skin whichever flatter your skin the most if purple white blue black tend to complement your skin then you know that you are on the cool undertone but if you have brown you have orange you have uh, peach you have yellow you have olive 
that flatter your skin or complement your skin then you know that you are definitely on the warm tone the warm undertone if both tend to complement your skin then congratulations you are neutral undertones we've been able to identify our undertones the difference between undertones and skin tones and also the types of undertones that we have so now we are going to go on ahead to choose our foundation before you choose your foundations there are three things also you should bear in mind which is the skin tone the skin tone is split into three which is the light the medium and the deep the light skin tone is associated with the caucasians while the medium skin tone in a global contest it's largely known to be the indians while the deep skin tones it's for africans so i'm a nigerian i'm an african so i'll be choosing the foundation according to the range of the skin tone these are the three foundations i'm gonna be trying so this is a tester from noban beauty this is in number nine w9 akunili and then this is a milani in number 11 amber and i have my Maybelline Superstay in 330 Toffee Caramel. So I'm gonna be swatching this foundation to see which one suits my skin the most. Like some um, brands that do come up with a foundation like uh, they specify the skin tone, the if it's for light, if it's medium, if it's, you know, a deep skin tone so you know the one that you are actually purchasing i'm also a makeup artist so i have a range of varieties of um, foundations and most of the ones i have is between medium and deep because these are the kind of people that i meet on a daily basis when it comes to swatching your foundations there are some mistakes that i usually see people do by swatching their foundation at the back of their palm trust me you will never know if this foundation is your true shade you will not know if it's your undertone or not and it might be lighter than your skin tone or darker than your skin tone so this is not the best way to swatch your foundation swatch your foundation right on your jawline you bring it down to your neck so this is where you get your original skin tone or undertone so it says that this is too orangey so again if you want to know if your foundation is truly your skin tone or your undertones you need to wait for a bit for it to you know sink into your skin for you to really know if this is your undertones the next foundation i'll be swatching is the milani in number uh, 330 topic caramel so i'm gonna be leaving this foundation to sit on my skin for some minutes this is how it's looking after some minutes that the foundation have sit on my skin so you notice that this is a no-no is too orangey and then this one looks like something that will actually go with my skin and the one here this is the um Maybelline super stay this one is the noban beauty while this one is the milani this one looks a little bit lighter than my skin and this one looks a little bit dark okay so guys always try to match your foundation to your neck you don't want to look like you're wearing a max by the time you're done with your makeup i'm gonna be mixing these two foundation i told you guys that i'm gonna be customizing if i did not get my perfect shade and again I love to mix foundation to get my perfect undertone. I'm gonna be taking that right on the back of my palm. So I take this like, if it were to be pump, I'll take like two palms of this. 
then I take like one pump or half pump of this because this is the way I usually get a perfect match so the one that is lighter I just put a drop or half pump of that for me to get a perfect match to my undertone everything is blended that is simple way how I customize foundation to suit my skin tone so if you look at this side that I have applied the foundation and this side there is no much difference it's looking like my skin I went on ahead to finish up my foundation and then I applied a little of highlight underneath my eyes I set both my concealer underneath my eyes and then the whole of my face yeah so guys that is it for the foundation match so if you got any value out of this video please don't forget to leave this video a huge thumbs up leave a comment below and also don't forget to subscribe right here it's free and ring the bell beside it so you get notified anytime i post new videos stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys